What's up adventurers, Josh here for another review and I'm actually bringing you another Tesla review. This is the ventilated cooling cushions for the Model 3. 2017 through 2023 and I think all models of the Model Y. So I wanted to check this out for you guys so that you don't have to do it yourself before purchasing it. I want to give a special shout out to Yeslack. They sent this out to me. They've been really great to partner with. Um, they have some really great products so be sure to check them out for sure in the link below and you'll see a discount code and everything like that. Even if this item isn't for you, they have so many other things so be sure to do that. I've had a month to try this out and I really wanted to try this out and give you an honest opinion about how I feel about it. So let's get right into it. First things first, this thing has 10 cooling fans throughout the whole seat. And it is, um, first it has like a mesh material right here where the fans um, can be uh, felt, honestly. It just, it's mesh so that, you know, when, when you're sitting on it, the fan can get through it. And then the other parts are like a really nice, I'm sure pleather, obviously, but it looks really good. I mean, it actually matches the Tesla leather really well. When I put it on there, I was very surprised at how well it matched the leather in there and uh, even when my friends walked in they checked it out and they're like oh I never noticed that you had like a cooling seat um, I didn't think that was a thing because they just couldn't tell that this wasn't part of the original model obviously you know once if you know what a Tesla looks like it, it definitely looks like a different seat but if you didn't know you wouldn't really even notice so right here they have the two buttons that turn it on and you can change it and they have three settings so like a, a low medium and high and um, just a heads up everything is in Chinese even the user manual is in Chinese but like you really don't need to worry about the user manual it's really easy to install and really easy to use so it took me probably like three minutes to kind of look at it and throw it on there it was very easy um, it has these little things here to help anchor it into the seat into the um, into the little wedge that you have in the back of the seat and it has two hooks to hook around the front the bottom front and then the top is a little bit stretchy so that you can pull it over and stretch it over the headrest the fit is probably like an 8 out of 10 7 out of 10 for me um, it's still kind of like wiggles the front seat part kind of wiggles a little bit but honestly I think maybe um, I could probably do a little bit more to like tighten it and get it in there better but um, I did notice that when I move around in it it does move around and I have to readjust it but it's not really not that noticeable it's only because I really notice it and it also has a little velcro here um, to kind of look at the fan so you can see the fans inside there for the bottom part fans over here and the way it is powered is that it plugs into the cigarette lighter in your middle console so the passenger side is where the main plug is and so it has two plugs and the other side is a plug right here so yeah it uh, yeah it's pretty seamless you don't really notice the cords they give you enough cable so it's not um, too short and you can kind of tuck it in different places to where it's not super obvious so after riding with it for about a month I like it I think it actually I feel a difference in terms of like the ventilation on my back I actually feel like when I walk in, it's like, just to be honest, it's not gonna be an icebox situation where you sit on it and you're automatically feeling cool. It takes uh, a minute to kind of like start to really feel it. But the, the thing about it is that it just keeps your back and your butt um, just ventilated, I guess that's the word, right? It's not like, it's not like sitting on an, a piece of ice. It's more like sitting on truly 10 fans that just keep the air moving on your back. Also, the stitching of the material is really good. It, they did a really good job with the stitching, but as with every good thing, there are some cons. So let's go out to the car and uh, just kind of check out what some of those cons are. So I wanted to make a note of a couple of things that I didn't love about this seat. The first thing is that it can get a little uncomfortable because the fans jut out of the seat and there's just this mesh thing between you and the fan. You can feel all of these fans on your butt and your back. So it's kind of uncomfortable. So I'm about 155 pounds and I feel it. It's not as bad. I mean, I can, it, it's okay, but it's still like, feels like there's something there. But I had a friend of mine, he's about 6'4", definitely heavier than me, probably, you know, 190, almost 200 pounds. And he just, 
could not get over this. It just kept on jutting up into his butt and it was really, really uncomfortable. So I can imagine for um, you know heavier passengers, it'll be really uncomfortable. Another thing is that it is, it makes noise. It's not the quietest thing in the world. Um, it's not terrible, this is the loudest setting and I'll, I'll uh, bring the, uh, the, the audio up a little bit over here. This is the loudest setting. Yeah, those are the couple things that I didn't love about it. Thanks guys, I hope you got a better insight on what this ventilated seat cushion is like and kind of helps you inform your decision in buying it. It is $370 for the pair, so it is uh, uh, pretty expensive. So I definitely want you to kind of get a better idea of what it's like. But Yeslack is amazing with customer service. They'll make sure they answer any questions that you guys have. And um, if you want to check it out along with other products, be sure to click on the link in my description and also use my discount code. And let me know in the comments below if it's something you think you're gonna pick up. See you guys later.